First, of course, is Mario, who will be played by Chris Pratt. He's so cool. Hello and welcome to I Can't Believe It's Not the Mouse, the podcast all about animated movies not made by Disney. I'm your host, Octavio Macias, and today, after a short break, I'm still not talking about animated movies. Well, not specifically a uh, animated movie. I'm just talking about a thing that happens with animated movies, especially more often now. At least people say it happens more often now. I know this is old news at this point, but I figured, you know what? The topic is still something that I feel needs to be discussed. Celebrity voices. Of course, if you've been online for a while, you know there was a big uproar when it was announced that uh, Illumination, the company behind like the Minions movies, uh, were doing a Super Mario Brothers movie. Now, that's been known for a while, but what hasn't been really known is who would be the voices for the main characters. Uh, at a certain point, it was pretty much, maybe it's going to be Charles Martinet, maybe not. I know that at some point, uh, Martinet mentioned that, hey, he wasn't apparently contacted to do the voice uh, of Mario like he normally does for the games. So it was like, okay, what's going on? And then Nintendo dropped a bombshell in... Um, I believe it was their last Nintendo Direct uh, that they did for the year. I mean, I know there was one that they did for indie games, but, like, just a regular Nintendo Direct. Yeah, that was the big bombshell. Yeah, Chris Pratt playing uh, Mario, Jack Black as Bowser, you had Charlie Day as Luigi. You know, you know, it was a bunch of big names. And people, of course, did not handle it so well. And it, things got worse when it was announced that on top of doing Mario, Chris Pratt would be doing Garfield. Which, I mean, at first I thought it was kind of weird, but then I was like, you know, Chris Pratt has done some voice work before, if you've seen, of course, like the Lego movies, you know, he was also in Onward, and you know, he was pretty good in those, and I'm like, well, you know, Chris Pratt's specialty really seems to be slacker characters who think they're above everyone else, or, you know, they're like the cool slacker character or whatever. That's kind of Garfield, I mean, I guess, you know, he would have to tone it down, make him more... Uh, more sarcastic, not really mean, mean spirited, but you know, to a degree, like you know, like more careless about other people, more more selfish. Which I'm like, you know, I, I could kind of see him working. I, I don't know if it'd necessarily be a great performance, but I could kind of see it working with that more so than Mario. Like with Mario, that's the one where I'm like, eh, I don't know. I, I even all after all these months, like the only thing that have, has kind of swayed me on that idea is just that illumination. Even though I don't really tend to like their movies, I gotta give them props that when it comes to their celebrity voices, they actually do get people who can do pretty good voices. Like, you know, they, they do get people and, you know, get them to do, you know, like silly character voices that, you know, actually fit their characters. Like Steve Carell as Gru, you know, it, it's not just Steve Carell just talking like Steve Carell. It's Steve Carell doing this this accent and this character uh, performance. Uh, Matthew McConaughey as um, the little... A koala for saying, you know, it, it doesn't just sound like Matthew McConaughey, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch as the Grinch, you know, it didn't just sound like Benedict Cumberbatch, it, it was actual, you know, voices being done by these celebrities, so I was like, maybe in my work, maybe, and, you know, while it's not the ideal performance, um, going back to the Lego movie, uh, Chris Pratt's performance as Emmett feels a bit... Uh, Mario-esque, like, you know, like that, that naive, kind of curious character, you know, it, it sounds like something that would fit um, Mario, to an extent. I I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Honestly, my bigger issue when it comes to curing the word Super Mario Brothers from Illumination is that it's Illumination. You know, like, I don't want to be mean to anyone, I, I, I really don't, but their movies are not so great. Like, you know, you, there are some studios that you know, of course, try to please audiences more than others. And for them, most of their movies feel like, yeah, we're just trying to check off a bunch of, like, you know, things on a list just to say, hey, this is what people want. This is what kids want. Um, this is what parents think are okay. There you go. I mean, it, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, their movies, you know, from what I've seen are normally just, okay-ish, but it's why even though I know people hate it on, on the Emoji movie, which you know, I, I do agree, it, it is a bad movie, but I'm like, nah man, it's still not even the worst animated movie 
that that was out at, around that time. I mean, I you know comparatively, you know, I thought the Chicken Life Pets, which I saw, uh, like about I want to say like a month or so beforehand, or maybe not even that that far, um, that around that time. But I, I know it was basically like you know something that I had seen around that time. I, I honestly thought it was worse because it was like you know at least the emoji movie has a story. This thing is just characters doing random stuff, and there's an idea of a plot, but it, it's go, it goes nowhere. Like I, I don't know, I, I I'm not a big fan of the company. I, I mean, I hope they turn around. I hope they they do some stuff that shows like okay, they they're serious about what they're doing, and I hope you know if anything, maybe Nintendo kind of convinces them because uh, if there's one thing like I was kind of um, joking about when when this uh, cast was announced, was like look, this movie has to be good. Like, and I'm not saying that because I'm a Mario fan. I'm not saying that because, like, oh, I'm in some kind of, you know, delusion or whatever. Like, no, no. As in, knowing how Nintendo is, this movie has has to be good to an extent. Like, it doesn't have to be great, but it has to work at least pretty well. Because if this thing tarnishes Mario's, you know, brand name in any way, I think that's going to screw over Universal in terms of, the whole plans that they have for like doing like the Super Nintendo Park or whatever that they're doing in, in their theme park. So it's like, yeah, I think this really, really has to be good. Again, it doesn't have to be great. It doesn't have to be, you know, life changing, but it at least has to be a quality product. But that's me rambling on about Mario and all this stuff. Realistically, my bigger topic was like the big complaint on that was like, oh, celebrity voice actors. Why are they getting celebrity voice actors? Oh, why don't you just get regular voice actors? Hollywood is bad for that. And I'm like, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I don't mind celebrity voices. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. If you ask me, hey, you know, for this animated project, would you rather get um, voice actors or celebrities to come in and do the voices? I would choose the voice actors. I think, you know, voice actors need the recognition. And if anything, uh, considering how many, you know, big names have come out of other places, whether it be music, sports, um, stuff that normally you, you wouldn't consider to be, you know, associated with movies. And yet, you know, they become big names. Like, you know, hey, we'll sell this movie on LeBron James. It's a little weird that we've never tried elevating voice actors to that status where like, hey, look, we're going to sell this movie based on uh, Tara Strong's in it. And, you know, it, it's kind of weird. Like, one of the things that I did like about um, the show Loki was that when it came to um, the Miss Minutes character, they didn't just treat her as an aside. Like, when it came to the credits, they actually were like, okay, and we got Tara Strong to be Miss Minutes. It's pretty neat that they're actually, you know, putting it up front instead of just hiding her name in between, like, you know, with, like, you know, extras or whatever, you know, stuff like that, because that's normally what happens with a lot of these things. Like, I remember when um, the Ratchet and Clank movie came out, it was like, oh, look, they actually got the voice actors from the games to be to, to be the, the, the characters. And then when you watch the credits, they buried the two main characters uh, behind pretty much all the other, you know, big-name celebrities, which I was like, why? They're the main characters. I don't know. It, it, it is... Um, Something that, I, yeah, I, I do agree with. They, they really should elevate their voices. And, yeah, it, it sucks that a lot of these studios only focus on getting the big names. That being said, to the degree that people were hating on um, on big names, like, you know, not even just in the Mario movie, just in general, I've always kind of found it annoying, you know, more so now than ever, because it's kind of like, look, like, I remember someone mentioning, like, oh, well, um, this has never been a thing up, up until, like, Aladdin, and then... Prior to that, at most, it was just certain character actors who would come in um, to lend their voices or TV actors. And I'm like, okay, yeah, but they were still selling it on those people. It was still like, hey, look, Transformers the movie. We've got Leonard Nimoy in it. we got Orson Welles. Hey, look, um, for um, Ichabod and Mr. Toad, you know, the, even the original poster mentioned like that they had like Bing Crosby. So it's not like it's never been around. It's not something like, yeah, of course, I, I understand to an extent, that yes, there's more emphasis now uh, on it than there was back then, but not to the degree that people make it look like it was non-existent prior to Aladdin. And even then, I'm like, 
who cares? I mean, yes, I understand. There are some bad celebrity voices, but there's a lot of them that I think, especially now as, you know, this has become the norm, so to speak, that I'm like, yeah, but there's a lot of really good ones that I can't see anyone voicing. Like, I can't see anyone else doing Shrek the way Mike Myers did. I can't see anyone else doing Donkey the way Eddie Murphy did. I mean, you, you have, you know, the people who could do, like, the imitations, but it, it's never the same feeling. Uh, of course, Robin Williams, you know, we, we did see that with Genie um, being voiced by Dan Castellano, who's a great voice actor, but in the role of Genie, not so much. Which is the other thing, is that sometimes even the voice actors you get might not even be right for the roles. I think a lot of it comes down to, realistically, whether or not, you know, one the person fits the role or two just like the the direction that they, they're given when it comes to um, voicing these characters because sometimes from what I see is like yeah this person was not given the best, best direction because you see some of those cheap movies like the straight to video stuff where they might get like some lower you know lesser known celebrities uh, on there but they also do have like um, voice actors on it you'll you'll notice like okay there's some voice actors that's neat but even the voicing on it feels off. And this is coming from people who normally do this for a living. So, yeah, it, it sometimes isn't even the fault of the person who's doing the voice. It's sometimes the fault of the directions they're given or the material they're having to work with. So I, I don't know if that's entirely fair to pin it all on celebrity voices. Because, like, you know, going with the, with the Mario thing, like, okay, yeah, I agree. Chris Pratt, Mario, weird choice. Granted, maybe he works, maybe not. I know a lot of the hate was came from like the hate that Chris Pratt already has, which I won't go into too much detail on that. I, I get where some people are coming from, and I understand the betrayal that some people feel on it. But then, uh, at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, but a lot of the stuff that people tend to, you know, attack him for feels more like assumption than what he's actually done. And I get it, it's because, you know, the church he goes to or, or whatever, but it's like, yeah, but, you know, if he hasn't actually done those things, like, because we've seen celebrities who, you know, have ruined their careers doing awful things, um, and they actually do those things, and I, I, we've yet to see that from Pratt, so, I don't know, I, I feel like it's a little unfair, I, I get the idea of why, you know, some people would feel it's a bit problematic, but, I don't know, I, I just feel like, I don't know, I, I feel like that, that stuff is overblown on him, um, not, not a hard defense on him, just, saying like oh you know you know he is a talented actor i haven't really seen anything that makes me fully say like okay yeah he's a horrible person uh stuff that's questionable i will agree that but eh. but then i'm like okay you know people are you know throwing in like okay well you got jack black as bowser and i'm like i don't know how to tell you this but that's a great choice like have you seen jack black when he does you know you know well of course you know he's great at music and you know he's done some great voice work with like kung fu panda and if you didn't see um, the Goosebumps movie, the first one, the second one wasn't so good, but, you know, he still does good work on that one, too. But the, the the first one was like, you know what, it's a really fun movie, and Jack Black kills it doing the voice of um, Slappy the Dummy, because he also does, um, he appears as R.L. Stein on, on film, but he actually does uh, the voice of the, of the dummy character, Slappy. And it's a great evil voice. It's like, oh man, you know, like if this guy was tapped to do the Joker, I could probably see him doing a really good Joker. So I could see with, you know, him doing something with that and his um, Poe the Panda energy, you know, kind of merged together to make like a pretty, pretty good um, Bowser. So, you know, that's actually a good choice. Charlie Day as Luigi, I don't know why anyone would feel bothered by that charlie day feels perfect for that role you know given everything we've seen charlie day do you know luigi you know come on just look at the character uh even seth rogan as donkey Kong, like you know that was wonder i was like okay at, at first i was like that's a bit weird but then again you know donkey kong is kind of a laid back kind of simple-minded character so i'm like yeah i could see this i mean it'll be a little weird but i could see it you know the energy being there if you know given the potential and like i said with illumination uh, even though I have a lot of issues with them, if there was one thing I will give them credit for is that when it comes to the, the celebrity voices they get, they actually do manage to do pretty good character you know, voices on them. Even if it's not too far removed from their, their regular voices, they do pretty good voices. So I can't, you know, diss them on that. But even just going beyond that, like I know like the, the most common comparison that people had regarding celebrity voices um, to this was the Scoob animated feature, which 
I understand why people were mad at the fact that they didn't get like the the voices of the of the, the Scooby Gang, um, aside from Scooby, uh, within the movie. I understand that. I mean, I, I definitely would have preferred them to do that. But again, I feel the hate is a little overblown because every time they bring up uh, like the problem with the celebrity voices, which I will admit, when it comes to like the the, the, the mystery gang, um, Zac Efron as Fred, eh. Um, shoot, I'm forgetting Daphne and Velma, the, the actresses. But even with them, it was kind of like, eh, I mean, with Velma more so because it's like Velma has a very distinct voice. So just getting any person to do it without even attempting to do that kind of, you know, nerdy, kind of nasally voice. Like not, not too over the top, but, you know, like to an extent. Um, I mean, come on. It's like getting, you know, some random person to just do Marge Simpson. You kind of want that you know, nasally voice, like, you know, you gotta attempt it a little bit, even if it's not exactly the same, I understand, you know, you do your own interpretation, you gotta have some effect of that for it to work, or at least something that makes it feel like, okay, that's right, even if it's not the exact same. But I'd see a lot of complaints about Will Forte as Shaggy, and I'm like, okay, that's the weirdest one, because Will Forte is not even, I mean, no, no, no disrespect to Will Forte, he's a great actor, um, I, I've loved him, and you know, uh, Clone High, MacGruber. You know, he he he's a really fun actor. But I would not consider him a big name celebrity. Like you know, if you're using that whole argument of like all oh, character actors or TV actors, I'm like, he's kind of right on that level. Again, no disrespect on him. He's a, he's talented, but you know, why are we treating him like he's some super rich celebrity? I mean. Even more so considering, like, look, I understand if you didn't like his Shaggy, I thought it was fine. Um, not the greatest voice version of that that, that voice, but it, it was fine. Um, but it, it's like, okay, but he's doing a character voice, so why are we treating it like it's bad? And, and it's, I don't know, it just feels like a, like some hypocrisy is on, is on it right there. Especially considering, like, hey, look, the, technically the current voice of Shaggy, Matthew Lillard, of course, a lot of people know that he was the live-action Shaggy. And he was a pretty big name around the time that that was coming out. So it's like, yeah, it feels like you're kind of being picky and choosy or, uh, on this. I, I don't know how to say it. But the point is, like, I don't know. I, I get it. I do prefer getting voice actors. I'm not saying that they shouldn't focus on getting voice actors. I want them to elevate voice actors into better roles. But I also don't think it's the end of the world to have celebrity voice actors. And I get why they do it, you know, just like with any movie, like, hey, look, we want to sell it, you know, on our big names. I just think that, hey, maybe we should try to elevate voice actors so that we could do the same thing. Maybe we could be like, hey, look, it's Joe DiMaggio in this movie. That would be pretty cool, I think. Instead of going off on oh, well, they shouldn't have celebrity voice actors at all or something like that. Like, sometimes they work. You know, sometimes it's it's not good, but I, I've seen it, especially in more recent years, that they've been pretty consistent. Uh, Disney, Pixar, you know, they're pretty consistent most of the time. DreamWorks, I, I can't really think of one where it was that bad for the most part. Uh, a lot of them have been pretty great so far, even on the movies that I didn't really like. Um... Yeah, I, I, I don't have an issue with it. As long as they put in the effort, put in, you know, the direction on it. Um, as long as they get actors that are willing to actually commit to the role. Uh, I, I think it's fine, you know. I, I remember a while back, you know, someone tried, you know, taking in like an out of context clip from um, The Boss Baby 2, which is not a cinematic grade, it's fine, um, to trash it uh, regarding like all oh, the whole celebrity voice actor because you have Jeff Goldblum as the villain and look at this performance he's giving and it's like, well, okay, but you're taking an out of context clip, especially considering that the performance that you're uh, lamp um, lambasting here is, you know, pretty much what the character's supposed to be acting like throughout the movie and I, I get it that's not um maybe ideal for you but it is like well th that is the character so i don't have an issue and even then if it i don't know like even if 
if it's just that one bit where it's like, which I agree was kind of weird looking at it, but then again, out of context, it's one of those things where like, okay, yeah, but anyone can mess up it, like in one or two scenes. I mean, we've seen that with, you know, even live action movies or with great actors on, on roles and whatnot, where it's like, there might be a scene where it's like, okay, they weren't bringing in their A game on that. I mean, it happens. So, I don't know. I, I just feel like that's way too, I don't know. I don't want to say ignorant, but you know, it is kind of like, yeah, but you're you're not making a great argument over why this is bad. I don't think, but I don't know. That's all I want to really wanted to say. You know, I hope I can do a movie uh, next week for you guys. Uh, it's kind of a weird time right now with the holidays and everything. Uh, by the time you watch this, this is gonna be past the holidays. I know that. But, um, yeah, I just thought maybe this was something I wanted to do, talk about um, holiday. Um, I mean, talk about, talk about voice actors, uh, the whole celebrity thing, which my stance is actual voice actors, celebrity voice actors, all fine. It all really depends on how they're utilized, uh, how they're implemented, and, of course, the direction they're given. It, you know, all that stuff. It's mo- more than just, oh, you know, the famous voice is bad and you know the uh the, the veteran voice actor is the only way to do it especially considering that oftentimes whenever people bring that up it's a, they only bring up like five or six different voice actors and it's like come on guys there's a lot more more than that and you know we should at least try to widen the pool on that too by finding you know new voice actors you know the way some movies sometimes find like unknown actors uh, for big roles, just because one, it's easier to lock them into multiple roles and uh, multiple movies, but two, they're confident that the character they're playing as will sell the movie more than their, um, their, how known their, their actor is, which, you know, it happens. But yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much what I wanted to say, so thank you for listening. Um, this has been Dr. Yonosia, so, so I can't believe it's not the mouse. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, that's Psychem Films. Um, I also have a Patreon, which supporting that helps support the show, whether it's by equipment, promotions, just anything. Right now, getting on the Patreon is just going to get your name on the credits of these videos. But I do hope that over time I can add more to this, you know, just, you know, get merch. Uh, make more videos, you know, beyond just uh, the podcast, uh, just different stuff. So just, you know, do consider supporting me for that if you enjoyed this. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next time. Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris Sun.